Today is going to be a weird one. We travel and play on the same day. It's not normal. At the professional basketball level, you're supposed to travel the day before to settle in in order to play a game. But there's two games in Portugal that are kind of funky. The two island games. We play Madeira and now Azores. This one is the game against Azores. We play Lusitania, small island. I want to say southwest of Portugal. It's like a farm island. It's known for its cows, its dairy products. So it's going to be messy today. We It's 8 a.m. We're hitting the road. We play at 8 p.m. So it's going to be a wild one today. I'm going to take you through it all. I want to say this should be fun, but it's not going to be fun at all. Mr. Bus driver, what'd you do, man? How you pop the tire, man? We're literally 100 feet from the arena, bro. Listen, it was not even 30 seconds from the arena. We tried to take the corner and we popped the tire. The bus driver popped the tire. Here's the arena. We're still here. Probably will miss our flight, but I guess this is Benfica, baby. Hey, real funny, Tiago. <laughs> real funny. Yeah, real funny. Yeah, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Great start to the trip. Oh, here we go. Five minutes into the trip. What do we think, Diogo? Do you think we're going to make our flight? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a low chance. Now we're waiting for a new bus. We might miss this flight, and this whole day, whole game day could change. But hopefully they figure it out. All right, let's try this again. This is the only reason I go on these road trips. Gotta get my Starbucks before the flight, baby. And look who it is. How'd you get here so fast? Uh, oh, you got money, huh? Yeah, got money. I got money, bro. You know, I travel a lot. Uh, how do you feel so, going back to your home island? Good, very good, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a pleasure always. Hey, that got a little stressful for a little bit with the bus tire and everything, but we made it to the gate on time. Here's the deal. We have a flight to, call it Teixeira. I'm, I don't know. I've never heard the word before, the name. But the flight is, I think, two and a half hours. We go there, we get one hour back, then we have basically time to rest, and then the game's tonight at 8.30. So more or less, we're getting straight to it. So this is going to be a long, long travel day, tiring, exhausting. But this is what I'm talking about. This is that adaptability that you need when you play overseas. I don't know why, but these ham and cheese croissants go crazy. Welcome to Tap Air Portugal, flight 1823 to Tessera. It's crazy to think that down there is where I live and where I've lived for the last seven to eight months. It's crazy. It looks so different from up here. Like that park right there is where I walk my dog. That's where I walk Benji Monsanto. That's crazy. They got us riding a tuk tuk. Mimi, Mimi. Where are the cows? Fun fact there's more cows than humans on this island. Really? Yes. Finally made it. It's a little smaller room. This is gonna be where we're gonna take a nap.
Okay, so that flight was a little bumpy. That travel was a little crazy. They got us in the tuk-tuk. I was probably nauseous for 40% of that trip, but we made it. We're on the island, we're at the hotel. Basically gonna get some lunch, nap, and then get straight to it. I'm interested to see how my body's gonna feel. Crazy little travel day. Take a look at this view from my balcony though. This, this is island life for sure. Crazy little park. Island life, palm trees. I get a little mobility in the flight and all the travel was tough on my body. We had walked through in like 10 minutes, so the game day routine is way sped up. It's not a normal one, but like I said before, today's not a normal game day. Big news in our league the team above us lost today, Porto, and then the team tied or below us also lost, Deliverance. So basically, if we win this one, we we go up a game, at least in the playoff race. So it's a big, big game, must win. It always was a must win, but even more so now. We gotta be locked in. So I'm gonna get this mobility, pre-game journal, and then we're straight to it. If you actually look on a map, like where we are, it's like the middle of the ocean. This is one of the craziest places I've ever been. Not even really experiencing it, but it's just wild. Put on the fucking ground, Drake. Fuck. Oh, you watch your mouth. Sorry, sorry, Drake. Gosh, everybody's just trying to block my shot. Crazy. <laughs> An 8 a.m. start time, a flat tire, a plane ride, a sketchy landing, three bus rides, and little tuk tucks. It's finally game time. Let's get to it. This game was pretty ugly. There's not much to break down. So instead, I'm just gonna show you all of our highlight dunks and cool plays from this game. This should be fast. TC starts us off with a bump spin baseline slam. Then it's Mac with his famous backdoor pass off to slam. Ivan with the great pressure defense. This might be an ankle breaker. Ooh, two hands for safety, slam. Old man Beto gets out on the break right here. Turn back the clock, young fella, slam. Turns out we only had five dunks at halftime. It felt like more because I had two and I never really dunk, but the game's tied. This is not how this game's supposed to go. We're the clear favorites there in last, not much to play for. We got to pick it up in the second half. TC doing TC things to start the second half. Put back, slam. This was my favorite play of the game because if you subscribe to my email newsletter, I talked about the float dribble. I do it right there. Nice lob, slam. Then we get, had to get my young fella Adu involved, the Prince of Angola with the little slam. Now that Angola is part of the party, we got to get Kate Bird in the house. My boy Ivan with the reverse slam. That was tough. That first one was nice, but why not do it twice? Ivan, he's just too little slam. Out Angola, we got Kate Bird. Then of course you got to get the King of Tunisia, Captain Max slam. Now listen, I don't know many 39 year olds in the world that can do this. We got a damn super here on our team. Slam! I almost didn't put this one because I feel terrible. Daniel, you were wide open, brother. I'm sorry, but slam. You know some people that are just too athletic for their own good? Slam. A dude's one of them. Buddy wakes up in the morning and can probably 360 windmill out of his bed. Another one, slam, game over, 40 point win. Hardest travel day of the year turns out to be our most athletic game. Overseas basketball is ridiculous. Just make sure you like and subscribe for more. And remember, get uncomfortable and always live atypical. Let's do it. She said, yeah, I know. Wish I could make it easier. I can't, I just know right and wrong.